welcome. This is the first of the Edifoss blogs that we hope to carry on fairly regularly through the autumn and the spring and the summer, uh, which keeps people updated onto issues on farm at the moment. So this field of rape has been established by a lifter drill and uh, one of the things that we place an awful amount of importance on in Edifoss really is soil health and the fertility of soils. And this, uh, as this is a, a new farm, uh, one of the interesting facts you can see here is the lines of where the lifters come through and it's, it's allowed uh, the root aeration within the soil and the plants of rape and black grass are actually growing more effectively together. So in between the lines you can see that although we've got a huge amount of black grass it isn't enjoying the tighter conditions. But one of the things that we have to manage on this farm is, is not just the black grass but to, also to talk about why black grass is here, how it's come and how are we going to change the conditions which uh, means that the soils will be more open uh, and less conducive for, for black grass to grow here in the first place. We feel that perhaps it shouldn't be something you, you should worry yourself to death about. As long as we have the, the tools, we should be able to get on top of this. Um, with rape, we've obviously got the chemistry at the moment. Uh, this hasn't been cultivated at all, so all this black grass has just germinated upon the soil surface. The principles that we're hoping to move forward is that this farm will be using uh, ploughing as a technique. Um, this farm hasn't been ploughed for seven or eight years, so we will be, we'll be hoping to uh, completely invert the surface black grass that's built up over time and bring up a fresh soil surface to be able to min till going forward. The other aspects are we want to introduce more spring cropping and varied cropping so that we have the winter to manage these situations properly. Uh, we're also introducing uh, maize going to a digester which will allow us new chemistry to come in to manage black grass. The idea here is we have flexibility in timing and cropping and if a particular issue comes up next year we will have these uh, uh, variable options. The problem that we mustn't do is actually to carry on in a tight winter system reliance on the chemistry that we now got resistance to. So the farmer was talking to me this morning about this farm. He says, I can tell you his name in five or six years time when we come to this field and there's no black grass here. So we're hoping very much that I shall be able to do that perhaps a little bit sooner. But uh, follow us for more information.